If you have the LEGO Technic Audi, you might be controlling it using the LEGO Control Plus app. And you might think, isn't there something easier to control this remote control vehicle with? And of course there is. You can use the train remote. Just drive around using the train remote. And it's really just forward, backward, steering. It even has an emergency stop like in the app. Just press the red button there and you can also turn it off really conveniently by just pressing the green button and that's it now it's off in this video i'm going to show you how to set this up it's super easy it takes you i think five minutes or thereabout and i'm going to show you each step on the way of how to do this so let's get started the first step is to go to code.pybricks.com the link is in the description below first time you go here there's going to be a tour you can just click away from that because I'm going to tell you exactly what to do and you can also take the tour again here. First thing you want to do is install the Pybricks firmware. So click over there. You have a Technic Hub. Click Next. Say that you have read the license terms and conditions even though you have not. Click Next. The hub name, let's just call it Audi. That makes it very easy. Next. Hold down the green button on the hub until it starts blinking. There we go, it blinks purple and then it should pop up as a device that you can connect to. And then it will pop up here as the Lego bootloader. Click on pair and then it starts downloading the firmware. Erasing the old firmware, installing the new firmware. This might take a couple of minutes, depending on how charged your batteries in the LEGO Technic Hub are. It is done now. So now I just press the button on my hub, click on pair, select my new fancy hub, and see that it connects. It is now connected. It's time to get some code. So first we want to click on the page up here, click on the plus, Start a new project, call it Audi or something like that, it doesn't really matter. We don't need to use a template because I have the code already and click create. Now this is where you write your program, but if you go to the second link in the description below, then you go to GitHub where I have the code for the Audi. If you go to the little button over here, say copy raw file, click on that. Now you have the code that you can see down here. Go back to the Pybricks code and then Right click and paste. Say you allow this and now you have the code. Let's upload it to the hub by clicking on the big play button up here. Downloading and it is downloaded to your hub. First time I recommend just turning it off again by holding down the green button until it stops blinking. Like that. And that's it. Now we turn it on. Press the green button. Press the green button on the remote. Press the green button inside of the car. And you can see the steering adjust to be centered so that it works like this. Make sure the remote has plus in the right side and plus up on the left side and then we're ready to drive down from the table. And if you want to restore the original firmware on this smart brick, then simply use the Technic Control app and run it from there. As soon as you connect, it will restore the firmware and then you'll be back to what it originally had. Now that you have downloaded the new software to the LEGO Technic Audi so that it's easy to control using the train controller, well, you might end up thinking, hey, what is this coding all about? How come it was so easy? What can I perhaps do in order to make the code even better? And that is why I'm showing you now everything that is going on inside of the code in case you want to improve it or maybe even program something else that might be fun. Pybricks is this project where they are using Python and also block coding nowadays in order to write code that is running on all of our Lego smart devices. There's a really good documentation here that I'm using a lot when I'm writing my own code. And right now I'm just going to show you what is being done in this code right here. In the top, we have some imports just telling us what are we going to be using in this program. If you at the beginning had chosen use a template, it would have shown you a lot of these, just not the remote part, I have added that. Then we are setting up the hardware that we are going to use, the hub, the remote of course. As soon as you write this line here, it actually connects to the remote, so you need to pair the remote with the hub in order to continue. We have two motors for driving, imports A and B, 
and a motor for steering in port D. So that's all the hardware that we need to set up. I'm setting up a state. The state is really just telling us what the current state of the remote controlled vehicle is. It has a speed and it has a target for which it's trying to steer. I'm setting some magical constants here. So how fast do I want to accelerate? Decelerate is a bit slower than accelerating. Some steering speed that I'm not really going to use much. I have to find out how much can this uh, model actually steer. And then I have a magical constant here that I'm going to go into later. But the first thing you're going to see is that we are resetting the steering. So we're calling this function up here, from here. The function says, please use this max steering thing because we need to set it and find it. So first we say, show the color red because now we are adjusting the steering in order to see how much we can steer. Run until stalled on our steering in order to find out how much can we actually turn run until stalled in the other direction and see how far can we turn again. Now we know the maximum steering that we can actually do to either side would be half of what we were turning. So max minus minimum divided by two. Let me just whoops, make the documentation a bit smaller. We have now that we should be driving to the middle and stop right there. The middle is of course the average of the max and min and that is why I say run target. Then I say this angle that you're at right now is zero. So when I'm asking the motor for steering to actually steer, it will use this as the new starting point. We are done. We say show the light green on both the hub and the remote. And now we have reset. So that's what you see every time you start up the program. If you're confident that it has already steered correctly, then you can of course substitute the magic constants up here and then you don't have to run the, this reset steering program or function. Now here we have the main loop, while true. So this is going to repeat forever. First I ask which buttons are actually currently pressed on the remote. Then I handle acceleration for itself and steering for itself. First acceleration. If you press the left button, this is actually the red button on the left. Then I want to stop immediately. So speed is zero. Otherwise, if you're pressing plus, it means accelerate. So I add accelerate to the speed and say a maximum of 100. The same with minus. I say decelerate. If none of the buttons are pressed, well then, if my speed is positive, I'm just going to decrease it with the deceleration speed that I talked about above. Otherwise, if it's negative, so I'm reversing, I'm going to increase the speed going toward zero. DC means I put direct current onto the motors without thinking about the angle sensors. Second part for the steering. Well, if I press right, I want to go max steering. If I press left, I want it to go to minimum steering. So this is my target. Otherwise it goes to zero because no button is pressed. Then I see my current steering. What is that? That is the dot angle method here on my steering. How much is it different from the target? That is how much I have to steer. Here I have my boost, which is the magical constant above. If you see that it has trouble actually adjusting um, the steering, then you can reduce this uh, steering boost, the constant. And then I, of course, also cap it between a minus 100 and 100. And put this motor steering direct current to that. So pretty much just steer against the uh, difference that we have with the boost in order to make it faster or slower, depending on how you adjust that constant, I put it at 1.1 because I found that to be a very nice and quick steering and I like that. Finally, in order to turn off the hub, you can press the center button, that is the one that is green in the middle, and then the whole hub will turn off. Then I wait until the next iteration, and this might as well just be 25. However, if you're changing this, then you might also want to adjust the other magic constants up here. If you find a really good idea of how to improve this program, maybe not use so many magic constants, then please tell me and then I can update it on GitHub and everybody who uses it will then get this improved program in the future. I hope this gave you a quick overview of what is actually happening in the code. It is fairly simple. It's easy to go in and change things if you want to change them and maybe have an even more fun remote controlled Audi from Lego Technic. And that's it for this video. Take care, have fun and drive safely. Oops.